Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by Michael Westmore, the Executive Director of the Surgery Center of Southern Oregon. Michael, thanks for coming in. How are you Thank today? Thank you very much. Glad to be here. So tell us, Surgery Center of Southern Oregon, what exactly do you guys do there? <laughs> well, mostly it's uh, outpatient surgery that has to be completed in less than 23 hour stay. So it's kind of the less invasive procedures, uh, knee surgeries, knee scopes, ACLs, uh, shoulder surgery, podiatry cases, that type of thing. Um, and colonoscopies is probably one of the biggest things that, that surgery centers are known for right hmm. now. Okay. And so, so yeah, so less serious than, you know, sure. uh, in and out, if you will. Right. Uh, short stay, like I said, it's uh, the short wait time. Usually, you're, if you come into our surgery center, you're out in four hours or less. Um, just just a typical surgery. Mm -hmm. beyond, beyond the time uh, there, are there any limits in the kind of surgery you can perform? Yes. Uh, the limits are you typically have to schedule a case that has to be out within 23 hours and 59 minutes. That's oh. the Medicare regulations. Interesting. So uh, almost all outpatient surgeries, as, as new technology comes out, um, is, is typically done within an hour to two. Hmm. And then the recovery time is a couple of hours. Um, so most people are out within, like I said, four hours. If it's a very involved case, maybe some minor spine surgery, Sometimes we keep them overnight for pain management, that type of thing. But that's pretty rare. That's probably eight to ten times a year we'll keep somebody overnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I'm sure there, uh, you know, you, you have competition. I'm assuming hospitals also like to perform those surgeries as well. What are the advantages of a surgery center? Uh, the surgery centers, the, there's three main uh, advantages for us. Number one is cost. We're about two-thirds to a half the cost of a, uh, the outpatient services at a hospital. Wow. So it's uh, quite a bit of savings for the patients, especially when you have these high deductible plans, high co-insurance. Um, when you get a, a bill for $4,000 at the hospital, typically it'd be a couple thousand dollars at the surgery center. So that's a, one big advantage. Uh, probably the second main one that uh, patients are interested in is infection rates. And as mm. you know, inf that's been a kind of a big hot button for uh, hospitals lately. Um, hospital acquired infections are probably four to five percent of their total caseload. Ours is a tenth of one percent. Hmm. So it's we're about uh, you know uh, probably ninety percent less infections than the hospital. So wow. now to be fair, our patients are typically healthier. Um, mm -hmm. They get the sicker patients, the patients that are staying longer. Right. Um, but in general, if you're a healthy patient just going in for a procedure, surgery center, you're probably going to have a de minimis uh, infection rate at our facility. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is just efficiency. Um, you come in the door maybe for a 9 o'clock surgery. Uh, you show up at maybe 7 o'clock, 7.30. You're going to be home probably by noon. Um, mm -hmm. Probably not going to happen at the hospital. So mm -hmm. our turnover times between surgeries are around 10 to 15 minutes. Um, hospitals just have a bigger layout, so it just takes longer. Yeah. There's things are just farther away. Okay. So uh, we're just, our, our whole surgery center is set up for efficiency, quickness. Um, we have specialized teams that are specialized with the physicians. So typically if you have, a, phys yeah, if you have a physician that's got yeah. uh, an orthopedic, um, then the, the team that's with the orthopedic surgeon has always is with that orthopedic surgeon. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, we're going to take a quick break. Okay. We'll have much more with Michael in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, here with Michael Westmo, the Executive Director of the Surgery Center of Southern Oregon. So, Michael, tell us, how does someone get in contact with you guys and become get on the client list, if you will? Uh, typically, you're going to get a referral from your physician. He'll give you some options. You can go to the hospital. You can go to the surgery center. Um, what, we're, what a lot of folks do is they'll call our surgery center and ask us for a cost estimate, and we'll give that to them over the phone. Mm -hmm. And typically, it's going to be much less expensive, so they'll uh, tell their physician, yeah, I'd like to have it at the surgery center. So then they get on the schedule. You know, basically, they show up to our surgery center. We get them in and out, and away yeah. we go. So it's basically from your physician um, referral, and then we okay. just go from there. Very good. Okay. Now, a recent report suggested that surgery centers may be an answer to health care reform. Is that true, and why is that? Uh, the main reason is, like I said before, is, is cost. Um, mm -hmm. Traditionally, we are, like I said, two-thirds to half the cost of a, a typical hospital stay. Um, and in addition to that, the infections in the United States cost over six and a half billion dollars a year just to treat wow. that are uh, those hospital acquired infections. So for the surgery centers with a lower infection rate, obviously we're going to cut into that cost curve. And hopefully, in addition to being you know half the cost on the other end, we can start bending that cost curve down the other direction. Mm -hmm. um, as new technology comes out, we're trying to do um, bigger spine cases now um, that could possibly save you know, twenty to $30,000 over a typical hospital uh, procedure. So oh. we're trying, we're always kind of on that next level sure. of trying to save money. Have and, to as a business. Yeah, course, absolutely. Yeah. 
And so, yeah, yeah. it's, it's uh, just basically a cost function at this point. Okay, very good. And now, if anybody wants interested in finding out more information, you guys do have a website, correct? The website is so surgy.com so it's kind of a strange one it's sosurgi.com very good michael great to meet you thanks thank for you very much it. appreciate the time all right stay with us we'll be right back